Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at creating the bishop chess piece. Now in my last vid we created this little pawn model here and I'm going to be reusing that in order to create the bishop. Now it does two things, it makes sure that the bottom stays the same so that the bases across the chess pieces all look similar and the second is that it makes life easier. There's no point in redoing stuff if you don't need to. So I'm just going to turn the lathe object off so I can see the spline and then I'm going to go to my side view. Now bishop models are generally a bit taller than the standard pawns so I'm just going to select the top points and just drag them up. Okay and now I'm going to select that point and move it taller. Okay. Now I can have a look and I can see what that looks like in 3D and uh, I'm just going to press O to focus on the object. We can see that we've got some of that but I'm just going to adjust the points a little bit. I'm going to go back to my side view, turn the lathe off. I'm going to focus in on here and then I'm going to edit the spline. So by being on the move tool Okay, and on points mode, if I control click, that gives me another point that I can move and play with. Okay, so I'm going to want a couple more, so I'm just going to move that one even taller. Okay, and then I'm going to create another one there, and I'm going to move it out. Now I'm going to use whoops, the move tool, I'm just going to create that little sort of nose that I always think, or the top of its hat I guess, so that I can get that shape. I'm just going to bring that out. So if I just have a look in the Cinema 4D, okay, in its 3D view, we can see that's not a bad shape, okay. Now bishops generally have a little cutout as part of their uh, top piece. So the way I'm going to create that is using a bool. The bool in Cinema 4D allows you to remove one section from a model uh, using another. So the bool tool is up here and I shall just create it. So there we have bool. Okay and now if I drag and drop the lathe nerves into that you can see that currently nothing happens because it doesn't know what I want to take away from. So then I need what it is that's going to create the slice. And the easiest thing I find to do this with is the cube. So I'm just gonna create myself a cube and then go to the objects manager to make sure I can access its handles. And then I'm just going to create a shape and position it where I want that slice to be, okay? So using my side view, I can then use the rotate. And that would allow me to get that slice in a place that I am relatively happy with. Okay, so just going into the 3D view, you can see that that currently goes all the way through. Okay, and now if I drag and drop the cube directly above the lathe, you can see that that's effectively what we are going to do the other way around. So if I drag the lathe above the cube now and reorder, we end up with the cut out of our main lathe nerves, and that gives us our overall shape. So there we go, that was relatively quick, and then I shall see you again in the next video.